We want to take this opportunity to celebrate a young director out of the Inland Empire, Sergio. Thank you, thank you. I met Nip in 2012. At that time, I had progressed in music videos, right? And I had just came off of directing a music video for Audio Push and Hip Boy. And Hip Boy had just came off of Grammy. Nipsey went to Twitter one day and he tweeted, I'm looking for a new director. And I saw the tweet. But in my mind, I was like, man, these guys are always saying that, you know? So my friend hits me up and he goes, hey, did you see the tweet? And I was like, yeah, I saw it. And he's just like, I sent your work in. And I was like, really? And then 10, 20 minutes later, he calls me back, he goes, you got an interview. I don't know if you guys are familiar with George Fenicia, but that's a business associate with Nipsey, a close friend of his. And George was the one that interviewed me. So I walked in the room and it was a studio so I could see Nip through the glass, but he didn't come out. He just stood in the glass and he was doing music. And I'm having this interview with JP. And what ended up happening is after like 10 or 15 minutes, Nip just walked out and he looked at me and he said, I heard enough, you got the job. And he shook my hand. And he said, I want to see you tomorrow at a photo shoot I'm going to do. I showed up to the photo shoot and he goes, this is a photo shoot for my album. It's called Victory Lap. That was in 2012. So Nipsey has been working on that album for a long time. And that's why when we hear that he won the Grammy, it's because he really put a lot of love and energy into that body of work. That day when I met him at that photo shoot, we pretty much made a deal. Uh, he said, tell me what you want and then I'll tell you how I feel about it and then I'll tell you what I need from you. I told him, I want to direct your big stuff, right? I want to direct big budget music videos. I believe that I'm capable of doing this. And he said, okay, fair enough. But in order to do that, I need you to do all these other little things. So I said, deal, so we shook, we shook hands. That was it, we've never signed a contract in our life. My new shit sound like a soul train. Took you Williams over Co-Train Eric B by the rope chain RC we for show bang Tiny Lokes and they go crazy What you know about the dope game? Was you born in the 80s? Did your mama smoke cocaine? Have you ever seen the whole thing? But you drove to the streets cause you grew up on show change Fucked up when the dope bash It remind me when these rappers drop does and they quotes change At the park with the low fade I was standing in front of Knicks with my sack for the whole day We did uh, all kinds of little projects until we did our first music video called Crenshaw and Sauce, and I don't know if you guys seen that. It's a beautiful music video. Look, relate to you, I can't if you's a fake nigga. When level four in the state with your mistakes get you. Rap niggas, they just want a double date with you. Twit pick and show these hoes that they affiliate with you. Labels used to treating rappers like a slave, nigga. Starving artists, just be happy with your fame, nigga. Shit changed, now it's such a different game. All the niggas like myself is controlling everything. He trying, he trying to tell you like what we going through and we, how we growing up around here, like what exactly. he went through, what my our, our age group going through, and a lot like a lot of other age groups like. And like they said, history repeats itself. So I'm pretty sure a lot of the shit that he went through, we, we going, going through, through right now. You know the line he says, uh, "Stop that saloon just to smoke." You know he wasn't playing. Man, we in Tulum. At the Mayan ruins, just climbed off the mountain. I mean, the uh, pyramid, got to the top, seen the whole jungle. Our first day of shooting was we're gonna go to Tulum. So I got the phone call and said, We're going to Tulum. I said, Fat, let's go. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gonna go get it. No kidding. Breaking down a switch in front of your building. Sitting on the steps, feeling no feelings. Last night it was a cold killer. You gotta keep the devil in this hole, nigga. You know how it go, Nick. I'm front line every time it's on, Nick. We went out there together, just me, Andrew, Sam, Nipsey, and uh, J Rock. I'll tell you one thing that Nipsey always does to me. He takes my favorite shot out every single time. I won't even tell him. I won't even tell him my favorite shot. And he'll be like, I got one hit. This shot. I'll be like, ah! And it happens to me time and time again. And that's one of the things that I learned is that, like, this is his work, right? In music videos, you're coming in in somebody's process. This man has made this song that is personal to him, and now he's handing that to me, right? I mean, I'm, I'm halfway in this process of we need to make this a music video. So I understand that, like, this medium, even though it's supposed to be me and my personal work, right, it's his. 
So I need to, if he says take that shot out, it's gone, right? So I really learned to take the favorite shot out. It doesn't matter. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. From the first big studio video we did to the second, I really had like a mental shift. And that mental shift was that this isn't about me, it's about him. Nah, I'm finna take it there. This time around, I'ma make it clear. Spoke some things into the universe and they appear. I say it's work that I won't say it's fair. Find your purpose or you wasting air. Fuck it though, y'all niggas scared. Everyone knows where YG's from, right? And everybody knows where Nipsey's from. So, you know, we had this idea where we would just make a red room and a blue room, right? And then I kind of went home and sat with that for a while and I was just like, you know what? What else can we do here? So I ended up going in this program, which is a 3D program. And uh, I started building the set. And I took both sets and I connected them together, right? And that's when I was just like, okay, if we connect them together, then we can really begin to like build this like underlying narrative, right? It gotta be love. Run the city, it gotta be cuss. It's for the pieces I took off the Monopoly board. Hey, y'all niggas false claims, it gotta be fraud. Just keep the hood about your mouth and you gotta be charged. Pretty much saying that both of these communities could be in the same room and cross over and whatnot, right? And have a relationship with each other. It's really cool to see them work together. It was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep last time that I checked. I was selling zones in the set. Make a quarter mil, no sweat last time that I checked. Almost forgot what I was doing. Almost forgot where I was going. I've been driving, I've been smoking. Almost forgot what I was doing. Almost forgot what I was drinking. What the hell have I been thinking? The premise of the video is pretty much that Buddy and Nip are supposed to be on a movie set and Buddy's late. What's the deal? Hey Nip, what's good? Where you at? Shit, I'm right around the corner, man. What's going on? Okay, we're looking for Buddy. Yeah, make it just. Nah, he's not here yet. All right, let me call him real quick. I'm gonna hit you right back. All right, back. Yeah, I'm, I'm in there in the beginning. Just so you guys know, that was not my decision. All right, so I'm not just putting myself in the videos. All right. I ain't need to flex. Block for me, black man. No, they trying to stretch. I ain't trying to preach. I ain't trying to lash. When you make your first million cash, you gonna feel the pressure. The man's a really good entrepreneur, right? And uh, most filmmakers, you're an entrepreneur. There's no check that you're receiving on the end of the week. To be able to be that close to him and to see that he's really good at being an entrepreneur, uh, you learn a lot from him. Something I really like is that he does own his own clothing store, which is a business he runs with his brother and his close tight-knit family, right? I think something that we should be speaking on more is uh, yeah. ownership. Always had the passion. Nigga, this a class. How we came from nothing. When it got established. Living like a savage, trying to make some magic. Everybody's starving. It's trying to take some So, previously, Nib was independent, so the way we would do things were as independent filmmakers do. The only permit you need is the permit from the hood. If they're cool with you doing it, you got a permit. Look, I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. Hustle man, a shooter, that's a fact, nigga. 32 extendos in my Mac, nigga. Spend a thousand on some t-shirts up in sacks, nigga. Atlantic is requiring new things from us, right? Things that I wasn't used to. So they're telling me, like, you got to get permits. You got to you gotta get everyone in the video to take a, a picture with their ID and sign this form. It's not happening. So we were pretty much closing streets down illegally. Put two cars over there, put two cars over there, and if the cops come, say something. And you'll see where Laura London does her part. We're on this street, right? And I start getting word like, hey, you got, you got to hurry up. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. And we got like about 100 people to the left of us, right? And we roll the shots. We barely get what we need when we see police officers on foot. And then you turn around on the other end of the street, more police officers on foot. So we're like, oh, shit. So everybody, you know, they know the drill. You get in the car and you leave. Everyone's getting in the car. Doom, 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 doom. The only guy that they really like bust down on was DJ VIP. They drew a gun on this guy. And all of us are getting in cars and we're leaving. We go onto a freeway and Nip decides that it's gonna be a great idea if he just pauses a freeway. And he stops and when he stopped, everyone else stopped. They closed every single lane and we got out. So at the end of the video, you're gonna see Nip like walking and kind of turning. He's on a freeway right there. We literally closed the freeway now. You cannot get a permit to close a freeway down, even if you tried, all right? So, that's some hip hop shit right there. Right. You fucking rap niggas. 
Russell man a shooter, that's a fact, nigga. Hey. 32 extendos in my Mac, nigga. Hey. Spin a thousand on some t-shirts up in sacks, nigga.